but I promise you, I promise you, you will not regret any of these items on this list. Get your pen and paper ready because we're gonna go through this like a checklist. Get your pen and paper ready. I will wait for you. A plunger. Don't start with me on that. A plunger. Let's, let's be realistic here. Get a plunger. Hi everybody, and thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Olivia, and I hope this isn't the last time that you stop by. Be sure to subscribe before you leave, okay? So we're gonna hop right into this video and I'm gonna throw it back a little bit because for the last few months I've been noticing a lot of viewer activity on one particular video that I made over three years ago. This video right here. I will link it down below if you haven't seen it. But I made that video over three, almost four years ago while I was preparing for my first apartment. And you know what? It made me realize that a lot of people are either moving into their first apartment and or planning to move into their first apartment and want to do so on a budget. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the ultimate, ultimate checklist for what you actually need for your first apartment. So if you are interested, get your pen and paper ready because we're going to go through this like a checklist. Get your pen and paper ready. I will wait for you. All right, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you see me looking down at anything, I'm looking down at the checklist to make sure that I don't forget anything. So the first area that we're gonna start with is the kitchen. And I'm just gonna list it. It's not gonna be in order of importance or anything. This is just gonna be, again, the ultimate checklist of what you actually need. Number one, plates and cups. I originally got a little plate and cup set from Home Goods. Um, preferably, I would recommend ceramic and or aspen plates and cups as they're good quality and a good first set for your first apartment. Number two, a cookware set or a few pots and pans that you will need um, to cook yourself dinner because you can't be going out and eating all out all the time. You got to save money. Utensils, silverware, cutting boards oven mitts, food containers, so that way you can put your food in the refrigerator and save it. A garbage can, a durable one, and a rug and towels for the kitchen. So I would recommend a rug for the sink, so that way you know you can have a little cushion for your feet, something soft while you're doing the dishes, because you will be cleaning, while you're doing the dishes, so that way Again, it's more comfortable for you to be standing there for a while doing your dishes. And then specific towels for the kitchen because you want to, if you don't have a little, I guess this could be on the list as well, which is going to be like a dish rack for when you clean. If you want to hand clean a lot of your items and cookware, hand clean like pots and pans, you can put that on there to dry and or again, specific towels for the kitchen so you can dry off your cookware sets and dishes and everything for that. These four items that I'm going to list are optional, but I think that they really come in handy if you have the budget to do so for your first apartment. I would recommend a toaster, a coffee maker if you're a big coffee drinker, a blender, which will come in handy if you're making a lot of home foods and home goods, and then a spice rack. I love a spice rack. I mean, you just whip it around, get the spice that you're looking for. You don't have to go through the cabinet and, you know, search around for the one you're looking for. It's just right there on the spice rack. Perfect and useful. All right, we're moving on to the living room. Lamps. You want to get yourself a pair of lamps. Um, traditionally, the setup that I normally have is a couch with a lamp on each side. So if that's something that you would like to have in your apartment, which is uh, the normal, I would say it's pretty, pretty normal for that kind of set. Um, make sure you get light bulbs as well, but I would say lamps, a matching pair for each side of the couch. A coffee table. Doesn't need to be super big, 
but a coffee table will work wonders. Side tables to put the lamps on, okay? So a side table like this, I got this from, if this works for your particular couch that you have for your first apartment, I would, I got this from Ikea for, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks, I believe, and I got a, a two of them. So you can buy really cheap side tables that will work well and it's a good, you know, has a lot of space. So make sure you get side tables. An ottoman to put your feet on. If your couch doesn't already have an ottoman or a laying area attached to it, an ottoman has come in handy and has been very nice to have. And then a blanket and maybe two or four throw pillows. Throw a little bit in there, absolutely. A blanket so that way you can relax and chill on the couch and throw pillows so you can rest your head when you're laying on the couch and chilling and watching TV or whatever you're gonna be doing. Moving on to the bedroom. I also recommend to have two nightstands as well and a matching pair of lamps just like we did in the living room doesn't have to be the same obviously whatever your you know vibe is just get that but I do recommend to have that just as the same as in the living room hangers you want to get a new fresh set of hangers a dresser a dresser has been very useful for me unless your unit your apartment unit um, has a dresser pre-installed in the walls because my unit does my unit has pre-installed dressers kind of like little storage units in the closet and or if you just have a big closet you don't need a dresser but um, I would invest in a dresser if your unit does not have that bathroom is next shower curtain unless your unit is a shower only bathroom but if you have a tub and a shower want to get a shower curtain i would recommend mats slash rugs for each area of your bathroom for the sink for the toilet and maybe a little rug for when you get out of the shower and a lot of places have really good sets that you can get for pretty cheap body towels and washcloths hand towels, a soap dispenser, a plunger, don't start with me on that, a plunger, let's, let's be realistic here, get a plunger, and then a small trash can for the side of, of the toilet and or in the, or, you know, vicinity of your bathroom. Entertainment and tech next. We just have a few items on this list. Um, TV, okay? There's a lot of pretty cheap, good TVs out there, and I would recommend a smart TV. I personally didn't get a smart TV, so I invested. I already had an Apple TV, so I invested in that and or a Fire Stick, which moves on to our number two spot on this list is an Amazon Fire Stick or an Apple TV, unless you have a smart TV, so I would get that. Number three on this list would be board games. If you're planning on entertaining guests and whatnot if you're thinking about entertaining guests and family board games key um, to really entertain your guests and have a really good time speakers I don't know about you but one thing I loved about moving into my first apartment in my own space was cleaning with loud music okay you don't got to put headphones on you can have speakers and jam the out while you clean or whatever you're doing doing art playing a game those speakers my speakers are pretty fire and i love them all right this final list here is going to be miscellaneous but i promise you i promise you you will not regret any of these items on this list i promise you seriously all right a floor fan if your apartment does not have ceiling fans, or even if it does, I have about two or three floor fans. I live in Arizona, so it gets pretty hot here, and I don't wanna have the air on all the time to, you know, it can be expensive, right? So we don't wanna have the air on all the time. So floor fans really help. An ironing board. 
get you an ironing board. I remember when I was younger, I used to iron on the bed. Mm -mm. We're grown now, okay? We're grown, get you an iron board. A laundry basket, because you're gonna be doing your laundry. If you didn't do it before, reality check, you're gonna be doing your own laundry. So get a laundry basket, maybe get a few. Maybe I have one for the clean clothes that I'm gonna be folding and one for the dirty clothes that need to go into the washer and dryer. So you can buy those pretty cheap at like Walmart or yeah, pretty much. A printer with fax capabilities. This has come in handy. Living on your own and in your first place, especially if you're young and this is your first time out of your parents' house, you're responsible for you. You're responsible for doing your taxes. You're responsible for handling your business. So get you a printer so you can print out documents that you need for the doctor's appointment or for an interview. You don't want to, I don't like going to FedEx all the time just to print something out. And that could be expensive over time. So if you invest in a cheap printer, um, there are a lot of cheap printers out there. You can buy one for $30, $40. It will save you money over time. You don't need one that, you know, prints art prints and things like that you just need one that just prints black and white maybe a little color here and there on some paper keep it simple 30 40 bucks i have a printer and i love my printer a paper shredder this goes hand in hand with a printer as you're going to be doing a lot of your own business and keeping things to keep things organized and to shred bake statements and things like that Anything that has your confidential information on it, you want to get a paper shredder to make sure that nobody can gain access to your information. Paper shredder, super important as an adult, okay? A desk. Specifically, this is specifically for people who are going to be working from home. Get you a desk. I got mine from Ikea and it was wasn't very expensive so get you a desk and chair uh, for whatever area that is going to be in your apartment everybody's apartment's going to be maybe a little bit different but a desk and chair coasters this goes hand in hand with the entertainment list earlier that we discussed if you're going to be entertaining guests family having family over and friends you want coasters so that way your tables won't get tarnished and damaged and it looks nice and you know get you get, get, get that grown feeling on you know get you some coasters our final section here are going to be great places to shop to get a lot of the items that we talked about here in today's video so this again isn't any order of importance but just remember that target isn't the only place that you can shop target can be expensive but don't play with Target. Target can be expensive. A lot of places that I shopped at to get a lot of these items. Um, Goodwill. Facebook Marketplace. Or either third party apps that sell secondhand goods. Like OfferUp or ThreadUp and things like that. Not ThreadUp. I think that's clothing. But OfferUp where you can get some furniture and things like that. Walmart. Of course, Target and Amazon. I personally wasn't really into Amazon a few years back and now I am, but shopping online can be sometimes a little difficult, but if you're gonna get furniture on Amazon and things like that, make sure you're looking at measurements, get your tape measure out, measure things before you buy stuff on Amazon, especially furniture and whatnot. But Amazon is also a good place to shop. That concludes the video today. I hope that you all have your checklist. Again, this is the ultimate checklist of what you need and what I actually needed when I moved into my first apartment. So I hope you learned something from this video. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below um, maybe some other videos you'd like to see for my channel in the future. And I really hope to see you guys next time. All right, take care. Bye.